right there. So this is where uh, those in the, the ministry school that were meeting this afternoon, they would tell you this is where you're going to do a contextual study. All it means is we're going to find out what's going on. So we're going to say, so who? Who wrote this book? Who wrote this book? And to whom was it written? That makes sense, right? Otherwise, you're just dropping into 40, page 45 of somebody's diary and trying to figure. Or have you ever been to the movies and you got stuck in the popcorn row and you sit there and you're like, I'll get the popcorn and they go in? Come on, y'all. And you walk in 10 minutes later and go, who is this? And they're like, shh. <laughs> and you're like, I don't want to pay $45 to be here. You know? Well, that's what it's like when you just drop into the Bible and you didn't take the time to figure out. So who? So who wrote this? Who are they writing to? What was going on when they wrote it? What is the occasion for the writing? Right? So what was going on, man? So who? So why? What was the overall purpose of this book? What situation were the recipients, the people who received the book, what were they in? And look at your little headings. Your headings are your friend. Now, man added them. Scholars added the headings and the verses. But those are your friend. They can help you figure out what was going on. I mean, the book of Galatians, you know, Paul wrote that to a church in Galatia that they had, they were getting off track. So he wrote the whole book to help them get on track. In 1 Corinthians, he wrote it to a church in Corinth, and they were getting off track and having some arguments and some doing some things, and he brought it to, you got to know what was going on, yeah. right? Yeah. Let me tell you this. This will help you. It will bother you and help you. This Bible was not written to you. I know that. What? It was, you don't live in Corinth. You don't live in Ephesus. You don't live in Jerusalem. That would be cool. But you don't, and you didn't. It was not written to you, but it was written for you. Yes. Come on. It was not written to me, but it was written for me. Therefore, I can learn from it, and God can speak to me. But we have to know first that he spoke to somebody else. Yes. I know we're the center of our own story, but we're not the center of his story. All right, so check it out. And now after you figure out who wrote it, what was going on, what were they going on, you can find all that in your introduction book pages. Then read it. Somebody say read it. Read it. You got to read it. I would read it twice. So either read the whole book or pick a chapter, pick a passage, read that sucker once and read it again because you were thinking about like a banya the first time. Read it aloud. Make yourself read it. Have it read it to you. Stand up when you read. Stand on your head. I don't care, but somehow figure out how you can read and focus. Many of us have a very little focus muscle. Yeah. But you can develop that thing. Yeah. Okay. 